A 40 years old lady presents to you in the OPD with complaints of headache without any characteristic features of migraine. How are you going to approach this patient? Will you advise an MRI or write amitriptyline for two weeks duration and then follow up? Hi, I'm Dr. Rahul Chavla, founder of Helpil Doctors Academy. Headaches are one of the most common reasons why any patient would ever go to a doctor. Hence, every doctor should know how to diagnose and manage headache disorders appropriately. Starting episode 1 with classification of headache disorders. Headaches, as you know, can be primary where there is no underlying pathology involved and includes migraine, tension type headache and trigeminal autonomic cephalgias. In migraine, patient usually has a unilateral or sometimes bilateral moderate to severe intensity headache with photophobia, phonophobia, nausea, vomiting and sometimes aura also. The migraine can be episodic or chronic if the frequency is more than 15 per month for more than 3 months duration. Then we have TTH or tension type headache where the patient has dull type of headache without any characteristic feature of migraine and lasts usually less than 3 hours duration. Then we have trigeminal autonomic cephalgia where patient has severe unilateral pain associated with autonomic symptoms and this includes cluster headache and paroxysmal hemicrania. Next, we have secondary headache disorders which are due to an underlying etiology like subarachnoid hemorrhage or any intracranial lesion, mass lesion like neurosticercosis, tumor, granuloma, tuberculoma, then CVST, cerebral venous sinus thrombosis. There could be plethora of causes for secondary headache disorders. Then we have cranial neuropathy which causes facial pain and pain on scalp and includes trigeminal neuralgia. In the next episode, we'll discuss more about migraine.